I am Godfrey, and I stand within the capital of the United States of America and ray forth the light of God freedom, God obedience, and justice, liberty, and that which moves men and women and children unto the eternal fire of their divine presence. When you say, blessed ones, I am God free with me, of course it means that you are free in God rather than that you are free of God, for none can be free except in the embrace of the Immortal One, the Almighty, the Creator and Sustainer of all life. Within this ray that I send forth in this hour, there is a call to higher consciousness, a call to divine justice, a call to reality. For the leaders of this nation, of the United States, and of many nations, have pandered to the human creation, have not understood the dynamic of the divine will in the affairs of mankind, through the majesty of the Spirit, melding all hearts into one nation, one people, under God. Therefore I remind the leaders of this nation and of all nations that if you are to succeed in your plans to bring about a peaceable kingdom within your nations, there must first be the alliance with and the conformity unto divine law, divine grace, through holy prayer, through understanding the dynamics of living a life to the glory of God and to the majesty of the Spirit. The original founders of this nation of the United States were invested in the light of truth, the light of freedom, the light of divine justice. Yet where has this led now? Through the leaders of today, the people of this nation, unfortunately, dearest ones, there is a decline of the ambience of freedom and the equation of light such that there is a very delicate balance being held in this hour between tyranny and freedom. Therefore, I request now that all of you within this movement, from this day forward unto the conclusion of the election of your next leader, give the prayer to me, I am God free, 14 times each day, calling upon the fourteen ascended masters who govern the destiny of this nation. And when you give this prayer with the full intensity and the power of your own voice wed to the voice of God, I shall descend with lotus into the capital of this nation and shake things up and awaken the people and move them unto a new understanding of divine law, the principles and values of freedom that must be returned in order that this great nation shall survive and that nations everywhere across the earth shall also have embedded within them the light of true freedom, justice, liberty, and God equality. There can be no equality from the human vantage point between men, women, and children, dearest ones, if the lesser selves of all hold sway within their decision-making at all levels. Yet there may be God equality in the affairs of mankind when all sublimate their own human will to the divine will, when all reach up into heaven and realize their God potential through the grace of the Spirit that melds all as one family as one eternal nation unto the one light, the one beingness of the Creator. We now attend sessions within this nation's capital to reinvigorate the leaders 
within the House of Representatives and the Senate. Two, a new call to divine justice. And we reinvigorate those in the executive branch in this hour with the light of the presence, with the light of God that always prevails, so that they may know that only that which is lasting, pure, and true may prevail within a culture of light and a people wed to spirit through the law of liberty and through agreements of light vouchsafed to them by the arbiters of their destiny, the ascendant masters who guide, guard, and direct the affairs of mankind from higher octaves of light. I would like, dearest ones, to lead this prayer thrice in this hour so that you may feel the intensity of that which I desire to embed within the earth. And as you give this call with me, see yourself as a flaming fire. See yourself as an arbiter of the destiny of your nation wherever you reside around the earth. See yourself standing for and on behalf of the righteous people of earth. See yourself ensconced in eternal light and blazing with that immortal ray of your divine selfhood that is essential for the victory of the light in all nations. I am God free. 10.020 Together. Om Mani Padme Hum. In the name I am that I am, my beloved Holy Christ, Buddha Self, and Holy Christ, Buddha Selves of all light bearers throughout cosmos, the beloved Godfrey and Lotus, Saint Germain and Portia, the divine director of the fourteen ascended masters who govern the destiny of America, Syrian Cusco Ladalo K seventeen. Kali, the Buddha, Mother, and all true messengers of God, all the and the cosmic beings, leaders of angels and archangels, Elohim, Buddhists, and Bodhisattvas of heaven, gnomes, unnamed sylphs, and salamanders, I pray. Obedient to holy will, true blue, in every way, I stand with Saint Germain and Portia, always in the fray. Their word is my command, for I am at their beck and call, as freedom's legions guard me through each victory standing tall. God free I am, I am God free, my higher self to be. God free I am, I am God free, a blazing sun to be. I wield the sacred sword and spear and tone, each holy sound. His golden jewel breastweight wear pure radiance all around. The good Lord is my shepherd, I shall never want nor fear. His angel armies guard me, I can feel their presence here. God free I am, I am God free, my higher self to be. God free I am, I am God free, a blazing sun to be. I'm stalwart, brave, courageous, and these tests I meet with joy. I leap at every challenge, so God's love I may employ. For I believe in miracles as I'm detuned and pure. Through humble service, holiness, my victory is sure. God free I am, I am God free, my higher self to be. God free I am, I am God free, a blazing sun to be. Obedient to holy will, true blue in every way. I stand with Saint Germain and Portia, always in the fray. Their word is my command, for I am at their beck and call. As freedom's legions guard me through each victory standing tall. God free I am, I am God free, my higher self to be. God free I am, I am God free, a blazing sun to be. I wield the sacred sword and spear and tone each holy sound. His golden jewel breastweight wear a pure radiance all around. The good Lord is my shepherd, I shall never want nor fear. His angel armies guard me, I can feel their presence here. God free I am, I am God free, my higher self to be. God free I am, I am God free, a blazing sun to be. I'm stalwart, brave, courageous, and these tests I meet with joy. I leap at every challenge, so God's love I may employ. For I believe in miracles as I'm detuned and pure. Through humble service, holiness, my victory is sure. God free I am, I am God free, my higher self to be. God free I am, I am God free, a blazing sun to be. Obedient to holy will, true blue in every way. I stand with Saint Germain and Portia, always in the fray. Their word is my command, for I am at their beck and call. 
as freedom leads and guide me through age victory standing tall. God free I am, I am, God free my higher self to be. God free I am, I am, God free a blazing sun to be. I wield the sacred sword and spear and on each holy sound. His golden jewel breathway where pure radiance all around. The good Lord is my shepherd, I shall never want nor fear. His angel armies guard me, I can feel their presence here. God free I am, I am, God free my higher self to be. God free I am, I am, God free a blazing sun to be. I'm stalwart, brave, courageous, and he such I meet with joy. I leap at every challenge, so God's love I may employ. For I believe in miracles as I'm detuned and pure. Through homo service, holiness, my victory is sure. God free I am, I am, God free my higher self to be. God free I am, I am, God free a blazing sun to be. Dearest ones, the great storm that you see in this nation's capital is the direct intercession of heaven upon earth to bring a clear and present message to the leaders of this nation that as they have cooled to the will and the word of the American people and the word and the will of God him herself. So they must bend the knee to the warmth of light of the Spirit. So they must return to the principles and values that all cherish of true God freedom for all. So they must return to divine service of the people as true representatives. Many have held sway in recent generations, influenced by money, influenced by power, persuaded by chicanery, and by all manner of debauchery to plight their troth with darkness, with deviltry, and with that which would decry the very voice of God itself. We stand to reinvest the light of freedom in every heart so that the will and the word of the American people will ring true in the hearts of their leaders and that God's will will be fulfilled in time and space, in joy and in honor and integrity within all decisions, within all initiatives, by all three branches of government. This which we see holding sway within the United States, we also see as manifest in every nation, for America, founded by the light of freedom, and Saint Germain himself, was meant to be an example to all nations. And many nations have indeed, blessed ones, followed suit by writing their own declarations and constitutions formulated upon the same foundation of that which we, the original founders of this nation, set forth. Washington, follow my lead. Washington, obey the word of God. Washington, come up in consciousness and abide by heaven's grace as one nation one people under God again. I declare it. I see it. It is so. This day and every day, as the people of light demand it, decree it, call it forth in the I am name. Thank you, dearest ones, for your listening ears your attentive hearts, your blessed spirits, obedient to all that is righteous, divine, and holy. 
I thank you. Thank you, beloved international heart friends and all who participated in this broadcast. I would like to just have a few more words to say that America is under siege by the forces of darkness and has been for quite some time. As the United States of America goes, so goes the world. Therefore, we must be the example of true freedom, justice, liberty, and equality for all. We must rise up, overthrow tyranny within the hearts of mankind, within ourselves, and within our nation. And the decisions that our leaders are making, which are not righteous and based on cosmic law and divine justice. This does not mean we start a physical revolution, yet it means that we are engaged in a spiritual revolution of light to expose the truth, to expose the lie, and to bring forth the highest outcome. Thank you, beloved Godfrey, for coming. And for those who may not be aware, outside of these United States, the capital of this nation was the epicenter of one of the worst storms we've had in recent times with tremendous snow. There have been many accidents. Basically, thousands of flights canceled across America and especially on the eastern seaboard and originating out of Washington, D.C., New York, etc. And this is, as Godfrey said, a message that men's hearts have become cold toward God, toward the truth, toward the light. Nature speaks directly to mankind if men and women listen. And so Godfrey has to remind us today and has reminded us of this dynamic. So let us warm our hearts to God, pray fervently for the light to reign upon earth, for justice and freedom to prevail, and let it be so in every nation, Spain, South Africa, Sweden, Greece, Great Britain, and in all the nations that you, the heart friends who attend these international Broadcasts represent Santiago and Chile, Argentina, Mexico, Canada, Australia, throughout the world, the Philippines, etc. Every nation, every continent, every people. As we gather more into this International Congress this coming September, October, and as we do our work together, we will see change on a planetary scale. So I'm putting out the call, and Godfrey is asking our representatives of various nations to please make the effort to physically come to this pilgrimage in International Congress. Please. It is a very vital and important event on behalf of both South America, Argentina, Paraguay, and also all nations. So we look forward to providing the details on two weeks from tomorrow. Two weeks from tomorrow is the date that the Masters desire us to provide all the information required regarding our trip to South America, to Argentina, and to visit a beloved heart friend and his family, Nicholas Carter, just over the border from Buenos Aires. So, thank you so much, Boyd, and all who attended today. God bless you, and take care.